Hello. Welcome back. Hmm. Did I find another mineshaft already? I'm thinking... Might be... Then I could search for rails over there. I do not remember one. I do not... I actually don't know if I find one. I mean, these mineshafts are everywhere and they are also like so big and um, you sometimes feel like you found a new one but it's just the same one anyways so hmm I hope you don't hear myself eating Oh, my chest was full, wasn't it? No, not yet. Someone willing to tr trade. Still, like... How am I so... Who are you? Uh, the Fletcher, of course. So, what's the plan?
Wait, Fit is a bigger YouTuber than Russia now? That's funny. That's actually funny. <sighs> Love the irony. <clears throat> All right, farmer man, I do have some stuff for you, but I forgot most of it home. Right, mostly potatoes, but that's fine. Hmm, I have pumpkins here though, don't I? Always have pumpkins. Hmm. Also melons, crazy. What? Like this guy is crazy. I I really don't understand how villagers work. Like some of them trade all day, and others like never. What is going on with them? Like for real, real. Still carrots, huh? Ah, no carrots. Well. Okay, 31. Come on, paper man. Looting. Yeah, I actually want to finish my sword. So how many do I need? I only need one, right? Then I slap that on my sword and I have two. Then I have a looting two swords and then I combine them. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, and I should check my enchantment before I continue collecting levels and then it's fucking, you know, unbreaking or something that uh, like that on a pickaxe. Missing, um, what is it? Potatoes, huh? Of course, it is potatoes. I am new and I'm Pop Bob's alt account. Hmm. Right, so, <clears throat> what do I need? Well, armor would be nice as a backup during my travels and shit. I definitely need the axe. Pig eggs are always uh, nice. Yeah, so let's check that. 
So that's fortune. Well, I gotta get that one. All oh, that one, huh? Anyways, so... Well, I can still enchant my sword first, can I? Looting. So now it's looting two. And can I, can I still, did that change? Nah, didn't think so. Looting two. Nah. Wait, where's, didn't I, ah. And why is my anvil not breaking? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, looting three is actually a thing, but kind of expensive. Oh boy, twenty fucking two. Well, okay, it's it's a sword then, isn't it? <laughs> it 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 is actually a crazy sword. Anyways, so let's g get some levels, huh? Hmm, I really want to test out this looting too now. Let's go kill some horses. Here he mentioned Notch and all and uh, deleting his Twitter account. I wonder what Notch thinks about the game. I mean, I've seen some interview from him or like some video featuring him once where he was like, or a statement or whatever, I don't know, um, that he created Minecraft because he wanted to play Minecraft and he he knows what good games are because he played a lot of games and you know he he seemed really passionate um i mean it's also good marketing if you seem passionate about your game right um but it didn't feel like he wanted to make the big money um in the beginning um and it's like he he at least made it look like he cared actually about the game and he was passionate and stuff like that. But it's been like over 10 years now and um, there's so much stuff in Minecraft going on, good and bad and so many kids and it's become like, you know, it's, it's a thing, right? So I wonder what, like, what Notch thinks about the community around it or what what does he think when he sees like kids wearing Minecraft merch on the streets like just if he sees them on the streets maybe they don't see him it's not about getting recognized as the creator but just like seeing all these kids I mean in the beginning I can assume it um, it was very nice to have this like all these people appreciate your stuff but i don't know i can imagine that he must be like he could I, like i don't know but, I, but he could be really annoyed by all of this right and i feel like maybe he has well i'm just talking something here but maybe he has like the urge to create something new a new game where he just to move away from this project that has outgrown him anyways totally uh, I mean not that he's not in charge anymore but it's like I think if you have these big pro successes you kind of feel well I, I've never had it but like just assuming here the possibility that if you if you if one of your projects became so big you feel kind of reduced to that project so 
the only purpose you serve in life and for society is representing, talking, entertaining, maintaining this one project, right? And I mean, it sounds kind of weird getting reduced to the like most successful project in your life, but you know, it's also like uh, Linus Torvalds, like the guy who created, um, you know, who's working on the Linux kernel and um, things like that, you know, Linux stuff, a uh, big thing. Um, he, when he created, well, that's a different thing, you know, the Linux kernel, um, it's not like he invented it from scratch and it's what, like, it was ah i don't want to mess up history here but um i think he just wanted to make something else better and i don't know it wasn't like our original idea that was coming from him alone his idea his project from scratch you know what i mean and that's something different and then you know it, it became so big but he felt like kind of reduced to that pro. Uh, maybe reduced is not the wrong, uh, is the wrong term, but he was like um, he felt really happy after creating Git, um, which he really did himself and which is very original and really good tool, uh, like a really good software project that he he ma he actually made him like himself, and um, that's something different than uh, Minecraft, I think. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, Linus Torvalds is not annoyed by, like, is an, well, he, he most likely is annoyed by everybody, but um, it's, he's probably appreciating the fame from the Linux kernel, but I have the feeling that there's a potential that Notch does not appreciate, like, I don't know. I actually I don't want to like like make some bold statements here and, and claim it's facts but I see a possibility that since it's a game aimed at children um, I don't know like it would drive me nuts at some point I think um, maybe he like he doesn't care at all um but imagine you are like notch like this famous guy every 12 year old looks up to you and screams when he sees you on the street and stuff like that that's kind of weird isn't it like imagine being on the internet as notch that's like it's all are you creating minecraft <laughs> that's something different than like people making bad pull requests on the mailing list i think you know what I mean? It's not pull request, isn't it? Uh, it's patches or something like that. Well, I'm I'm GitHub brainwashed. I have to admit it. Anyways, so ah, oh, these teleports today. Yeah, I just wanted to talk some random trash, you know. Um. You know, just. Just think about it. You created a game 10 fucking years ago that you actually enjoyed, right? Well, maybe. Let's assume that what you said was true, okay? Let's, you create a game that is something you like as an indie developer in an indie studio. I don't know where. I, I, I don't know too much about the history. And then suddenly it grows big. And I'm... Well, I, th I think it's reasonable to assume that you really appreciate the moment. Like, try to try to get in that mindset. Try to assume you are that developer, right? So it's getting big. What do you feel? Like, in the beginning, in the first few years. Man, that's awesome, isn't it? So people actually appreciate your game. And then you even make it... Did I press... What button did I press? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Did I close it? I didn't close it. Okay, cool. And then, well, in the beginning it's free, then you make it paid and you actually get money out of it. 
that's cool. The money is cool. And then you see that people, people, <laughs> I, I think that people enjoy it. You see it in the free version already. And you're like, wow. And they even pay for it. And nice. And that's so cool. And there's a community building around it. And that's, that must be a, a rush, right? That must be so good. Your project used by people and um, appreciate it. You know, but I, I don't know. I think the first, like, oh, there are probably so many scandals around Minecraft, and I don't know which one reached notch, and I don't, I, I don't know any of them. I, I, I was connected to this game like, uh, ha, way back in time, like, uh. Wait, I was playing around 2009 and the game didn't, uh, 2010, and the game didn't feel that new, did it? I think YouTube says that Minecraft 2009, I think, I, wait, I have to look up some numbers, My, uh, Minecraft. Uh, here, send first video game blah, blah, blah. not person Java program blah, blah, blah. It's public alpha in 2009. And in 2011, uh, Jens Bergenstein took over the development. So that's probably <laughs> when Notch disconnected already. But 2009, that means that I was, I, I doubt it. That's only one year. Wasn't there like this episode of this a whole, I wasn't playing in alpha. I started in beta. In the better version. How do you pronounce it? Beta? Better? I don't know. Hey, was it 2010? It was different than now, but it was way more mature to the stuff that I remember from like the old days. Like, not remember, like, but I, I saw videos like the old alpha rendering. Everything was so... Ah, the, the grass was so uh, bright. It was crazy and I don't know if the grass texture changed where I was playing but it was completely different uh, grass that was crazy and um, oh yeah the leaves of course um, yeah they were also crazy well anyways um, and there yeah it started with creative mode didn't it there was no, um, everybody had, there was no mining and there was no crafting in the beginning of Minecraft, if I remember correctly. Well, I didn't play back then, but I, I've seen stuff from that. And the world was really small and stuff like that. And um, anyways, so I doubt that if it looked like that in 2009 for some time, that when I started in 2010, I mean, there was no uh, creative, there was no survival, but you could um, eat pork chops and heal directly. There was no eating animation and no uh, like hams down here. But there was plenty of stuff from the community already. There were all these jump and run and adventure maps and that could never be did that start in one year crazy trip down memory lane huh well i think i've got some numbers wrong because something doesn't make sense um does it anyways so back to notch i'm sure he he appreciated in the beginning and then maybe other people took over other people influenced um, like with ideas maybe 
ideas Notch didn't agree with or didn't care anymore about. And then he, I, I feel like he, he probably disconnected from the game and was forced to be that representative person. I don't know how, how long and how active he showed up at things like Minecon and how, how much he appreciated it. And it's been fucking 10 years and the game is having a, a still a hype, um, especially now since like the, all the big titles are losing its, um, yeah it's players again or it's like appeal like fortnite and overwatch people are crawling back to minecraft um i don't know i'm like they're probably way more sophisticated analysis of things but um yeah i'm just thinking about the old man huh I mean, he has nothing to do, like, now since he is, wait, wait when did Microsoft buy Minecraft? It's, it's been years as well already, wasn't it? Um, then he was, like, completely out, wasn't he? But people, like, all of them still think Notch is Minecraft, and the person behind Minecraft is for... Well, especially for the old school players, I think, but also I think many new players inherited that mindset that he is, he is the guy. I mean, I've never heard about this Yen Spear whatever stone thingy there on Wikipedia that already took over in 2011. So Notch was like, it is Notch, it's fucking Notch. Um, yeah, he was always in the center. And... If we talk about decades being in the center of a project that you're not really connected to anymore, that you're not maintaining, influencing, and you're in the center of a bunch of kids in a game that is so famous and full of shitstorm and stuff. I hope he's doing fine, man. Well, maybe he's just rich ass and like chilling in some rich house and having a good life and not caring about shit deleting the twitter account to escape the shitstorm and yeah oh wait where was i i thought i was over there already who placed the cobblestone there then anyways Thirty-seven. That's pretty good, actually. I didn't notice it. It's probably the looting sword, isn't it? Because it didn't feel like I was slaughtering so many horses. Awesome. Love it. So, shall we visit the old pumpkin farm? Wait, who? I'm really looking forward to looting three then. I mean, I've had a looting three uh, sword on my uh, survival server. By the way, agl.zilihoon.com is a vanilla uh, survival, you know, classical vanilla server. Um, well, since there are no admins, it's also kind of anarchy, but, um, you know. It's just no players. It's just a vanilla server without admins. So yeah, that's that. Um, there I had my looting three sword for some time before I fell into the void and all my bases got grieved and now I'm not poor. I'm not poor anymore on uh, Laser Guggenland, but um, anyways. Oh, another skeleton spawner. And this one is actually kind of high so you can build things with it. And it's also not too far away from my base. Ah, oh, you know, I'm, this place is getting nicer and nicer every day, isn't it? Imagine what I can farm with my looting sword and skeletons. Sweeping edge shit. 
Yay, yet another music disc from the same song. Ah, you must be kidding me. Anyways. Maybe I should come back here and check out this, uh, do some entity cramming things. Baron Dome showed one technique once. It was in the beginning when I was like messing around with my skeleton farm that I saw this video from Baron Dome idealizing the sweeping edge stuff. Um, well, I can't collect your loot anyway, so fuck it. Um, yeah. I think it wasn't really complicated. But I'm also after XP. Um, yeah. I could just build something with pistons. Oh, let them fall through lava. Ah, oh, I love that. I love that one. Mm. One of my favorite designs because it's so simple and I understand it. Yeah, that's nice. stack is also growing isn't it ah not really so that is full soon isn't it sweeping edge fucking shit oh wow cooked mutton huh? oh we have a stack of that already didn't know that Where are all the papes? Oh wow. Crafting 101, huh? Does it work like this? Like this? Cool. One, let's make some shelves. I'm sure I have a lot of wood somewhere. That's not a lot, that's a lot. Cool. 36, that's good. That is for sure one, if not two. Um, enchantment tables, isn't it? Okay. Uh -huh. Chicken, yes. So, should I? Yeah, why not? Cool. Then let's do something with um, the spawn. So. I was thinking just some water to, was it this one already? No way, it was this one already. It was, wow, that's actually very close. Wow, that's so close. And now I don't have a cover with me. Let's remove those. 
Wow. Hi there. Wow. That's not how my looting sword is supposed to work if they kill each other. Hmm. Good drops. So, um... What's the plan? Oh, another bucket. It might be useful. Why is my sword not working? Yeah, nice. Okay, so I was thinking... How do these designs make most sense? Let's go this direction. And then... Like, how far can they spawn? Like, do they spawn here as well? Or where should I start putting the water? Should I put it on these sides? There are probably some smarter and some less smarter ways of building this. But yeah, I don't care. Ah, I love efficiency. Too bad that my next enchantment. Well, should I really put fortune on my axe? Yeah, that would be good men and times. Fortune and sick touch. Should I take them with me in the chest? A stack of bones. Have to spin up a new farm quickly. Oh wow, wait. Is this some 2v2t thing where mobs can't see very far? I mean, I'm over here. I'm actually waving my hands right now. <laughs> um, I guess this won't work like that then. Uh. Okay, over here is more functional. Yeah, that should be fine. And then I go here, and then okay, go there, and then, yeah. Why did the diorite not burn? Of course it did. Never does. Burn, motherfucker. Projectile protection. I need that one, huh? Eating some projectiles. So, right, and those also didn't burn. Cool. So, 
So if I stay here on the other side, but they might be able to shoot me, that's bad. They need clear sight, don't they? Ah, do you see it? It spawned here, but not there, so I might be able to put water there already. can also use fall damage. I mean, we have fucking 47. That's so high. So we found already the 2B2T architect and the 2B2T historian. No, 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 no. Why am I the only person testing legs with AWD in chat? What do others, like, does nobody does do the lag chat test? Or are people are just writing nigger instead? Way too much typing for a test, isn't it? Or do their hack clients have updates about that anyways, probably. So this is already some fall damage. It's not l a lot of fall damage. Do I want to kill or do I want to get XP? Well, I most likely want XP as well, don't I? Okay, is that... Nah, that's not me. It's laggy today, isn't it? Some loot here, you know, that's okay, closed, that's nice. And here, what a boring cave. Well, let's see, maybe it goes there forever. Ah, a mineshaft. It's probably the mineshaft, but. Anyways, 
maybe I sec a section I didn't explore and indeed it is. When did working with water became so bad? Coal. Uh, should I go mining now? I don't know. Not that I have a lot of space in my inventory. Oh, but I only need level 22, don't I? Ah, I will get there and then I will get my crazy looting sword and continue smashing those skeletons. A person can give me stuff. already likely huh thirty seven let's get one stack do I have a yes I have space awesome spiders no spiders no spiders. spiders. No spider. No spider. Ah, fuck. want it like to zero that's crazy okay anyways so fuck the stack oh it's, it's looking good okay can i find back it's not here maybe maybe here yeah it looks like Fifty iron. So good. Okay, it wasn't here. It was here. Nice. So how do I get up? By digging. Some stairs here will be useful anyway. So on which side is the stair? Then we make it here. So good. Okay. Hi. Well, I will come back with the looting free sword. Ah.
I have way too much coal. Now it broke. No worries, man. Mmm, juicy sword, and I'm level zero. Okay. Fair. Not that I need them, but, um, well, what's the but? <laughs> I can? I don't know. I mean, I want, should I use one slot in my precious e-chest on nether ward? I, I have to find a fortress in my other base anyways for blaze rods. I don't have enough blaze rods. So that's an issue. Such a good starter chest, isn't it? It's like it's getting somewhere. All right. Do we need we need those? Do we have signs or something? Oh, rays, of course, there are rays. And here's another ray. Oh, piston. Well, I could also put in a piston to suffocate them in walls. Yeah, why not, actually? I mean, I have, I have so much stuff. Uh, let's make more pistons. But suffocating in walls doesn't really work with pistons, does it? You need like actual... Yeah, no. Uh, sticky pistons, so that you, you know, can have the walls and shit. Um, right. So let's make more signs. Do I need trapdoors? Doubt. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take a time until I get my fortune pigex. Oh, this one is fortune or. Did I ever get more than one pumpkin? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Why uh, should I use fortune three for my pig, pig eggs? Uh. Hmm. Mm. 
Running around without an axe is also bad. Oh yeah, looting three. Let's go. I don't have enough signs, do I? Oh, it's a swimming skeleton. Spooky, spooky skeleton. Okay. Yay, level one. Okay. Yeah, no, that's not enough, is it? How big is the fall damage? Well, if there's water down there, it's not too big, isn't it? So if I'm standing here, they shoot me, then they fall down, but the shooting me part is actually not too good. Hmm. Oh, thorns, huh? Hmm. Love them when they have low health. That is actually fun.
What a weird staircase. Oh fuck. Wow. Love the fall damage. Okay. Should keep that one open. How deep do we go? So this might actually almost kill them, I think. We'll see. Nah, never. Right. If there's the water, I need a way to get over here. And how can I like get them here without shooting me? Well, if they are damaged already by a power bow or something like that, they die. That's fair. Which is likely to happen, isn't it? Okay, so that's that's probably a good uh, height. Since some of them die, the rest is low. Mm -hmm. That's a good height. I could also make a glass here. Wouldn't that be cool? Do they attack if they see you through glass? That would be a thing for for up there.
Hmm. That's a bit narrow here, isn't it? Whatever. So recording this one hour already. I guess it's time to do a quick cut here to have nicely chopped episodes. See you in the next one.